In this video of ASP.NET, we are going to start a new concept that is caching. Basically, whenever a user wants a data for the first time, it will make a request from the server. But if he wants that data to use very frequently, we can actually store that particular data somewhere in his system that is in the cache memory so that if that user wants that data very frequently every time he doesn't have to wait for the server's reply and he can directly get the data from the cache memory itself so let's see what all written here is a technique for storing frequently used information in the memory as I said, like in the memory, we will store that particular data which I want very frequently. When the same information is needed next time, it will directly retrieve from the memory. First time, it will be brought from the server and for the next time, we will start retrieving that information from the cache itself. It is important for data related transaction, means in any particular operation, when your data is required very frequently, we can go for the caching. In ASP.NET, we have a several types of caching, but here we are going to perform a couple of uh, types that is the first the object caching and then the output caching. In object caching, we will store a single value of an object type and in output caching, we will make a particular page with the attribute with the directive output cache. And later in the same output caching, we will see about the SQL dependency means some sort of SQL server involvement will be there during the implementation. So in our next video onwards, we will start working with these various kinds of caching. That is all for this one.